So Andrew, you're always interviewing everyone else and I wanted to interview you this time. So as you always ask the famous question of how have you reinvented yourself at this time? Rob, it's, it's such a pleasure to be here on my own show. And I, I thank you so much for all your love and all your support with Reinvention Daily. And that is the famous question right now. How have I reinvented my business and myself? And, you know, when this all started, you know, I'm a, I was a videographer. I was a video content creator. And obviously that all went away. You know, having the lights, having the camera showing up to people's offices with social distancing and with the quarantine, that obviously went away. So I sat here in April and kind of really honed in, you know, one of the, one of the things I really honed in on was simply just, Andrew, what is it that you do best? And, you know, I do all of these things. Yes. I, I love doing all these different things, handling the camera, doing all this other stuff. But what I do best is I'm a writer. First and foremost, I've written a lot of different things over my, my life. And, and that's what I do best. I went to school for journalism and, you know, in this reinvention, I was like, you know what, I'm going to focus on that. So I, how I've reinvented my business is I've simply just gone from a videographer to a business screenwriter. And one of the things right now where business owners really, really, really need help with is it's not the cameras, it's not the lights. People say they have stage fright, but they're where the stage fright comes from, Rob, is simply just people don't know what to say. And me as a writer, me as someone who is very, very expressive, I really, really get people just to say, hey, you know what to say. I'm just here to help you say it. I'm just here to help you craft the message. I'm here to help you condense the message. And I'm here to help you share the message because you have all the answers. So I like to say now as a, as a business screenwriter, I'm just, I'm someone who holds a mirror up, man. I literally just, I hold a mirror up and everyone knows what they want to say. I just, I find what that is. So it's one way I've, I've reinvented elevated shorts and, and I've loved every bit of it. Yeah. I really, I really like how you say how you hold the mirror up. Cause that, that, that uh, a lot of people don't understand that, um, for a screenwriter or a person that is able to pick up on things that people say and then set it up. I, I think that's really neat how you can set things up to, to where their, uh, their message is actually something that is on the front page. That's the thing they're gonna, that people are going to pick up on. So in that, um, for the second question I'd like to ask you is what is the new conversation that Andrew would like to put out there we're, we're going forward at this time? Love it. For me, my friend, the conversation is, and just the phrase that I tell people is, don't be afraid to press, press play. You know, video used to be a nice to have, right? You used to see yeah. someone, oh, they got video, they got money to spend. Right now, man, in the current economic stance of everything right now, video is a must have for the reason of people are listening, people are paying attention, and people are really wanting to be understood. So what way to, what way to do that right now? Press play. I have it right here. This is my little sign. Don't be afraid to press play. You people have your iPhones, you have your MacBooks, you have your Samsungs. Literally set it up, press play, share your message. Again, people are listening, people are paying attention, and people really, really want to be a part of something. So whatever it is, if you're a lawyer, if you're a life coach, we all have things to say, and now is the time to say it. Share that message, share that service, share the expertise, share the knowledge press play and, and get it out there.